Josh, um, how would you describe this week, the week after this, the old firm game? Um, just normal, to be honest. Obviously, the lads are obviously down as expected after the game, but training's been fine. Obviously, Monday and Tuesday was a bit of a hangover, but with the day off yesterday, back in today, we're just preparing for North Ross County as normal. Have there been any meetings amongst the players to, to go over the game? Um, we've had a bit of an analysis meeting Monday and Tuesday, but nothing nothing tragic. Obviously, it was a bad defeat at the weekend, but we've just got to dust ourselves down and, and take each game as it comes and just, and just carry on. Do you sometimes learn more about yourself and, and your teammates in these sort of circumstances? Um, you, you could say that. It, people could say it's a reality check. People could say it's, it's a good lesson, but it's just, it's just one defeat at the end of the day. I think it's made worse, obviously, that it's obviously against your biggest rivals, but... We're just going to go into the Ross County game and try to win that game and then carry on and try to get them next time. What sort of did you have after the match? On Saturday, um, it was just quite quiet, not, not really much said. Everyone was obviously down after the, after the game, but I think at 3-1, I think it was, we were still more than in the game in my opinion, but the sending off obviously made the game a bit false and then they scored the two goals and it obviously made the scoreline a lot worse. The manager says he didn't feel it was a 5 1 game and doesn't think the gulf between yourselves and Celtic is that big? Is that the way you guys see it? No, I, I agree. I think, I think at, when we got the goal back just before half time, I think obviously the goals we conceded were just sloppy goals. I wouldn't say they was on top or anything. I think it was an even game until half time. And then the 15 minutes in the second half when we came out, Baz missed a good chance and I thought I felt we were on top in the game and I thought we could get a goal back and then. I think Sinclair scored the third goal and that was a bit of a sucker punch and then obviously the sending off, like I said before, made the game a bit false. What did you make, what have you made of the reaction to the defeat? Is it surprised you or is it what in, you expected? In the public or? Yeah. Um, well, we drew to Kilmarnock and we got slaughtered for that so I think the reaction to any draw or any defeat is because we're expected to win every game so I think any, any draw or any defeat, we're going to get a bit of scrutiny about it, but we've just got to pick ourselves up and try to win the next game. So the belief's still there at game four or five of the season, the belief's still there that you can mount a serious challenge and be up there at the end of the season? Yeah, I just said in an interview back then, I think I heard Kenny speak the other week about seven points behind five or six games left and they still won the league and were fifth game in, so to say we're out of the title race at... At this moment in time, it's a bit of a ridiculous statement, to be honest. Is that criticism kind of highlighted or underlined to you? You know the expectation at a club like Rangers. Yeah, I think I think we all know now the expectation after. Obviously, we've not had the greatest start to the season, as everybody knows. But the Hamilton game and the Kilmarnock game drawing after them, we got we got a lot of criticism. So everyone just, I think the confidence is still there. We just because we know that we've not played our best. If we'd have played our best and we're still getting beat and drawing games, then it'll be a worry. But. We're not being at our best yet, and as I said, we're only five games in, and I'm sure we'll get it right. Are you the kind of player that responds well to that kind of criticism? Does that fire you up? Just make you. Uh, I don't. I don't really listen to it. To be honest, I just play football. That's that's all I'm here to do. So. Your praise for your performance on Saturday. Is that something you can take any satisfaction from? Um, we still lost five one at the end of the day, so it's not whether I played well or whether I, whether I didn't. The scoreline was still five one, so it was obviously difficult to take, but. As, f as personally, it's my first old firm, first league game for Ainge. It was an unbelievable experience and one I'll never forget. And I wish I could play that game every week, but obviously we've got Ross County this weekend and I'm sure we'll just go into that and try to win it. Does it make you more sort of eager for December 31st when you can get another crack in since Yeah, I've, I've been watching that game since since I was, I don't know how old, five, six years old. And I've said since I was younger, it was a, it's a dream for me to play in a, in a big game like that, Celtic Rangers and the other derbies. And I'm just so happy I've managed to play in it. and played quite well obviously the result everybody was down about it but I was uh, it was an experience I'll never forget yeah. how, much, how much does it hurt that your first experience of that game as you say you've been looking forward to it for so long and it ends up in the way that um, yeah I didn't expect to play to be honest I was I was buzzing that I was playing and obviously like I said at half time I, I honestly felt we was we got the goal at the perfect time and I felt they went in a bit a bit down after we scored that goal and we came out first 15 minutes the second half as I said and I felt we was really on top and um, I, f I, I don't think there was much in between the sides, to be honest. So I think the 5 1 did flatter him, to be honest. How do you, as a, a group of players, react to Scott Brown's comments that it was like men against boys? Is that what he said? <laughs> um, you, can, you can say what you want, can't you? It's, it's, I can't really speak for Scott Brown. He's, he, can, he, he played reasonably well on the day, and fair play to him, they beat us, but we'll just wait till next time. How do you feel about your dad saying that Mark should build a team around you? 
he's, I've told him millions of times not to answer interviews, but he just <laughs> he just does what he wants, so he can say what he wants. He has, he has his own opinion. He's not going to come out and say I should be on the bench, is he? So it's just stupid dad comments.